Hello everybody, this is just a quick video that I wanted to make um, to talk about a problem that I had with Portage and how I fixed it um, in the hopes that in case anybody else has this specific problem, they will be able to learn how to fix it much quicker than I did. Um, the issue that I had specifically was that whenever I would run emerge dash dash sync, which is normally supposed to update all of your repositories and download the most recent snapshots of the Gentoo system to allow you to get the more updated versions of packages that you may have installed. For whatever reason, Portage would go through all of the various mirrors that I have in my make.com file and would be unable to find the snapshot that it was trying to download on each one. And it turned out that what it was trying to do was it was trying to download a snapshot that was a couple of weeks old. Now, I normally update my Gentoo system about once a week. I do a full at world update. And normally when I do that, Emerge will know to get the most recent snapshots. They're, they're sorted by date on all of the mirrors. And so normally Portage has no problem fetching the correct snapshots. But like I said, for whatever reason, in this case, whenever I would run emerge.sync, Portage would be trying to find snapshots that were a couple of weeks old. And since the mirrors don't maintain those versions of snapshots, it would be unable to find them, and so it would simply fail to fetch anything and assume that it was up to date and then go on to finish syncing. Now, I'm not sure exactly why this particular error began occurring. Um, it hasn't happened to me before, but there's not a ton of information about this particular eMERGE issue that I had on the internet. And I had tried several things to try and fix it. I tried completely reinstalling my Portage system. I tried updating my GPG keys, thinking that maybe I had an outdated key or something like that, and several other things as well. But what ended up working was actually going into the dist files directory that Portage uses to store the actual source code in compressed form of the programs that it downloads, and deleting certain files on there that were associated with the Portage snapshots that had been downloaded previously. So I wanted to make this video right quick to show everybody how I did that in case you had this same problem. Now for me, on my system, my dist files are actually stored in user portage dist files but your dist files folder may actually be in a different directory. If it's not user portage dist files, then it should be in var cache dist files. So if you don't have user portage dist files, this is the directory here that you should go and look for your dist files in. But like I said, I have the user portage dist files directory. So that's where mine were. So I'm going to go ahead and change the directory to there. And then we can ls this out. And you can see there's a bunch of stuff in here. Now, what we're specifically looking for are files whose names begin with portage, hyphen, and then a date. Those files are associated with the portage snapshots that are downloaded. And deleting those files actually reset emerge sync so that it would download the correct files. We can find them in here by doing ls-l and grepping for portage, hyphen, and then two zero. And as you can see here, there are four files that are associated with those names. One of them is an actual bzip tarball that should actually be, I believe, the snapshot itself. And the next three files are a signature file for GPG and md5sum and umd5sum checksum files. Now what I did to get rid of these was I just ran rm and then portage hyphen two zero and then a star. And then if I were to run this again, you can see that nothing comes up now. Those files have been successfully removed. Once that's done, you can easily just emerge sync again, and emerge should download the most up-to-date versions of the snapshots. As you can see, currently it's going through all of my mirrors here, and it's going to download the updated portage snapshot. Um, so if you have that error, try this method to fix it. Um, it fixed it for me. Um, and it's safe to delete these files as long as you emerge dash sync right afterwards. You may get an error when you try to sync after this if you if like your files were fairly up to date that says that the timestamp is possibly identical, but that error message is from emerge dot is from, is from emerge sync rather, and it will show you a file uh, called timestamp.x that you can simply delete and um, run emerge sync again and everything will download like normal. But uh, anyway, thank you all for watching, and hopefully this was helpful to you if you had this specific error. Uh, it, it confounded me for a while, and I had tried several things, and I thought it was probably a good idea to go ahead and put a video out, because I bet if I had this error, I'm not the only person in the world. So hopefully this was helpful to you, and thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.